Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to start the first dungeon in the game known as the Deepwood Shrine. So, this would be a Deepwood Shrine the Mission Minish Killer spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I I'll be waiting right here. No, I... What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. <laughs> Alright, so we got some spider webs. Oh, there's spring geeks. I can't go through the door. Let me in. Ah, let me in. Let me in. Oh, fine. I guess I can go in. Ah, this is blocked off. Guess we gotta leave. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you just push that aside, and you are here. Ooh. Spooky. Gooey. Slugs. Frightening. Actually, they're the easiest enemies in the game. <laughs> because they're so slow. And kill them off. You won't get any prize for killing them off, but... If you light all the torches... Voila! Chest contains a key! Well, it's a small key. Here, Kidoki. And sure enough, there's a locked door right here. Right, hmm, there's a locked door here. See if you can find the key to it. Dang it, Ezlo! <laughs> so open the doors with the R button. Or um, whatever you please. I, th I think you can do it with the A button as well. I prefer the R button, personally. Probably because I always have my finger on it to roll or grab or anything like that. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and press R, <coughs> R to grab it. Then press the D-pad down to pull. Watch his face when you pull on it for a long while. <laughs> it turns red. Go, 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 go. And that's one way to get across. <laughs> Yes, yeah, you got these springy mushrooms that help you cross water like that, and that's kind of a part of this dungeon's gimmick. As well as a few timed uh, switches, like that one over there. Uh, well, actually, this one isn't timed, but you'll see other ones. Uh, you can push these blocks like that to go back, like a shortcut back if you would like, but, yeah, well. This is a puff stool. Yeah, you heard me right, it's a puff stool from Pikmin. Now watch what they do. See these spores? They slow you down, but... and Well, actually... You're supposed to spawn some spores. I know you can do this. Eh. Eh. Spawn spores. I want to show the people. <laughs> why is it not help? I mean, why is it not cooperating? It's like trying to film an animal or something. They never do what you want them to do. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. See that? They make spores on the ground, which, which uh, can slow you down. Wow. Look at the size of that barrel. Hmm, all oh, right, right, how silly of me. It's not big, we're just small. Boop. Yeah, you want to hit that, uh, burn those vines. You'll see why you want to do that later on. Yeah. Out of my way, get out of here. Go. Yeah, you can't kill them right now. Well, actually, you can kill them if, if there's, like, a, a pot that you can throw at them and that'll kill them off, but otherwise, you're kind of stuck. So we're inside the barrel, and now we're not out. Now we're not inside the barrel. Out of my way. Uh. Uh, these switches, you have to have both pressed at the same time. See that? So, I think you know what to do here. Come on, now. <laughs> I mean, there's a statue that we know we can push based on what we already seen earlier in the dungeon. And there is the solution. And now, if you go inside here... Oh! What? Hey, be careful, my lad! The barrel just moved! And that's exactly what we need it to do. Move those stairs over there. Well, I should say move the hole over there. And, oops, took a wrong path. That's for later. I'm supposed to take the other path for the key. Take this one, then. Boop. Not so. And now this path leads to a key and some other paths, actually. Uh, these are moldozers. And uh, they have this really weird haphazard pattern. Just... I'd like them to do their crazy movements, actually. Are you gonna... Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, they do that, that random charge attack, and... Yeah, it's kind of tricky to avoid if you're nearby like that. Uh, this 
block you can't push from that side you gotta actually go through like this but first I'm actually gonna go and go all the way across like so and you notice that there's a heart piece over there I'll be back to get that a little bit later it's a dummy map yeah and these things are really handy there's a map and compass in every dungeon of the game and they replace the map I should say they replace the world map when you get the dungeon map just for the dungeon so they kind of coexist in that regard so uh, light I mean the blue rooms are the ones that we visited the purple rooms are the ones we haven't uh, when we get the compass a little bit later it'll show you locations of treasure chests and stuff like that that you can collect All right, now I'm going to take the middle path notice I mark on the floor stop there and you'll pop out right there and you'll jump right in the center I mean that is a shortcut back that I thought I would show you and moving on that is looks kind of I mean that, that enemy there it's a uh, it's a pesto but it looks really weird on the GameCube it looks like it's jittering too much I don't whoops didn't mean to do that <laughs> notice that uh, when you press that switch it's like another pressure switch what we need now is something to hold down the switch Believe it or not, you can push pots. Yep. Yep. But if you pick them up, um, what'll happen is that they'll automatically uh, break. Well, I mean, when you when you try to throw them down on the switch, you can't just like gently put them down or something like that. So do not pick up the pots. Uh, here's a, a beginner's trap puzzle of sorts. Once you take hold of something with R. Use the D-pad to push or pull it. This is extremely important, so I hope you take pains to remember it. The reason why it's a beginner's puzzle is because if you um, do this, it's going to be like, Oh no, I cannot get the treasure chest because I can't move any of these blocks. What should I do? Well, you could do, you could like push the statue over like that and then push it like to lock yourself in. But I think their intended solution is to pull the block over like that and just get the key. Anyway, I'm taking a long time to explain all this stuff, but eh, it's still in the early parts of the walkthrough, and that's why I like to get stuff out of the way. If you don't have that bridge up, you'll be able to use those blocks to uh, go back, like so. Or you can use the bridge, of course. And shortcut block I already showed you earlier, which I probably sh didn't even need to show you, because I knew I had to go take that path back anyway. Now that I have the key, let's go to the upper right path now. There we go. And bloop. Voila. Now we got some new puzzles that are awaiting us. I think this is... Yeah, I don't want to go this way just yet. I want to do the stuff down here first. Eh, spores. And bloop. Just don't shoot yourself too far with those mushrooms because you'll fly into the water. Use the uh, rub marks on the ground to be able to tell how far you need to pull back the... The mushrooms and you should be good to go uh, be careful of the spores on the ground they sometimes can spawn well not spawn they're uh, they're actually underneath they can um, hide puff stool enemies underneath them uh, we got another uh, another kind of puzzle where we are oops <laughs> we got to do uh, a rigmarole here by going all the way around to the other side like you see you have to have a statue on that switch but when you put a statue on the switch it always blocks the way to the door so what you got to do is pull one statue away from the switch and go around push the other statue where the button is so yeah one statue is just there to get in your way tricky uh oh uh oh oh geez epic bo boss battle music for Easy enemies. <laughs> Again. And there we go. And this gives a key. Yay! Alright, so let's go through here. And I got everything during that I mean through that path, I think, so I can safely hop down here. This is a one-way path, as you can tell. Uh, so you gotta face the dangers from here on out. Well, not really. There's actually gonna be a a war point of sorts. Uh, I should probably go down here and get this set up right away for later. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have to do this puzzle later on anyway. Because I just want to show you uh, Ezlil's dialogue for this. So as you can tell, there's another pressure switch over there, and you can tell that something's gonna appear over there. Boop. 
He's like, hmm, how do you get that now? Now there's a puzzler! <laughs> I suspect there's not much more we can do here right now. Let's press on. Perhaps we can work this from another angle later on. Good idea. So, go over here, and this is really why I came down here. This is the compass. Yeah! And now if we look at the map, see now there's treasure chests on the map that indicate which stuff is remaining in which rooms. So, let's move on. Now that we got a checklist of sorts that we can do in the dungeon, uh, you can't get what's over here just yet, but I'll show you how to get that a little bit later, don't worry. Oh, told you! <laughs> uh, yeah, that opens that. Wait, isn't this, uh... Do I want... I don't think I want to use that just yet. I think that's going to lock me out. Uh, now... If I go through here, I'm going to be blocked from going in there. So... I'm going to enter with this door. This is the Matter Pillar boss, and it's a pretty easy boss. Just hit it on the nose, and then it, its heart tail will appear, and then you attack its tail like so. Just watch its movements, and don't let it corner you with its long body, and you should be good. Oh, oh dang it, I bounced off the body. I didn't mean to do that. Just always stand in one place, and if it starts to threaten you, like if you feel threatened from it, just move out of the way, and you... Oops, why did I do that? Why would I think attacking its tail first was a good idea? Stand over here! Link will automatically move out of the way because he can sense that the treasure chest is, mo is coming out. <laughs> ah, I got the dungeon item known as the Gust Jar. So, now I'm going to replace my shield with it because... When do I ever use my shield, in all honesty? You can switch items by uh, assigning them to buttons. Like if I were to press the B button on here, it'll swap out my sword with the shield, and yeah, you get the idea. The same with the A button. So, yeah, that's what you can do with the gust jar. First thing I'm going to do here is clean that door, because it leads to that blocked-in heart piece. Woohoo! Two out of four to my first heart container upgrade. And now I can escape the room. Well, actually, isn't this... Yeah, this door was open anyway. <laughs> but that's a, a kind of a way back. Um, now that you have the gust jar, you can do this stuff. You can clean the spores off the ground. And this has a way of uh, revealing stuff that's under them, such as the switches. And now that you have the gust jar, you can make the puff stools vulnerable by sapping the color right out of them. And then, yeah, you can kill them off like that. The reason why I am sucking all this stuff up is because there is stuff to be had in this room. Ooh, mysterious shells. How mysterious. I don't even know why they add the word mysterious into things. Because if you got an item that you don't know what its use is for, it's kind of mysterious by default. It's kind of like it's over-enforcing the mysteriousness of the item. <laughs> so to speak. It's like overdoing the mysterious. Anyway, here's another switch. That makes a, a portal, well I should say a warp point up here, up there. Now why would we want that? Well, and where does it lead to? Well, you'll see later. <laughs> well actually, I, I guess I could tell you now. It's by the entrance. Um, but we are its kind of out of the way to go all the way back to the entrance right now, so I'm just going to um, continue to clear out stuff up here because we're gonna end up by the entrance anyway a little bit later on you'll see what I mean uh, once we get there anyway I'm going back through these rooms because there is treasure to be had in them more mysterious shells let's just check the map to see if we got everything yes no you why would you respawn I it took me forever to kill you this locks me out, right? No, it doesn't lock me out. No, well, that's nice. All right, I'm going to go through here and now get the treasure that was indicated to, to be over here on the map. Because there was a switch underneath the spores. Voila! And I think... Yes, got everything off the uh, basement floor, which is, ironically enough, the first floor. <laughs> like, the, the floor you enter in. Um... Yeah, I think... 
think I'm gonna end off the part here and then finish off the dungeon in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.